Have you heard about the French prophet Nostradamus? He was the one who had predicted the rise of Napoleon and Hitler and the 9-11 Twin Towers attacks back in 1557. Yeah, people, this man had predicted these happenings more than 400 years ago. Now, you surely want to know his predictions for 2018, but a question raids our mind. What is this man's story? In 1556, he was invited to Paris, where he predicted the young lion will defeat the older one on the battlefield in a single fight. It will pierce his eyes in the golden cage, two wounds in one, and then he will suddenly pass away. On June 1, 1559, when the king was taking part in a tournament, by accident, the lance of his friend pierced the royal golden helmet and continued into his eye. The most amazing thing was that the culprit was younger than the sovereign. So we do have a reason to believe his predictions, right? If you note carefully, you'd realize that his predictions were vague and can have more than one interpretation. We aren't hinting at anything, but this is definitely a point of interest for many. So shall we move on to the most popular predictions Nostradamus made for 2018? Number 5. Prophecy about Donald Trump Nostradamus wrote his predictions in the form of quatrains, which are somewhat vague and leave room for more than one interpretation. But some striking similarities have been found, or should we say that a practical version of his theory was seen. In the 50th quatrain, he says, the Republic of the Big City will be brought by the trumpet to be engaged in expensive military operations and the city will repent. Did he mean the USA by Big City? And was he talking about Trump as the trumpet? This prophecy falls in place when we look at Trump's attack in Syria. Going by this, we can consider the 40th quatrain to fall true as it states, the false trumpet will make sure that Byzantium will change his laws. Now, considering he was talking about Trump, Maybe he meant Greece by the term Byzantium, the place where migrants come to arrive in Europe. Have we forgotten the fact that Donald Trump based all of his election campaign against migrants? On the same track, the 57th quatrain says, the false trumpet will provoke big disagreements. An agreement will be broken and the face of milk and honey lies on the ground. Now, the Bible has described Israel as the country where flows milk and honey. So does this mean that Trump's election might provoke the end of Israel? We'll have to wait and see. Number 4. Prophecy about World War III The prophet predicted, the big war will start in France, and then all Europe will be attacked. It will be long and terrifying for everyone. And then finally, there will be peace, but only a few will enjoy it. What did he mean by only a few will enjoy it? Since we know that nuclear missiles are not fictional and that they have the capacity to destroy cities altogether, we can agree to the fact that only a few people would be able to survive a world war where such weapons would be used in abundance. Should we be scared of his prophecy about Rome? There will be many Cossacks' horses who will be drinking from Rome's fountains. The fire will fall from the sky and it will destroy three cities. The city will lose the faith and it will become the reign of the Antichrist. Rome will disappear. Everything will be believed lost, and there will be only murders. It will be heard noises of cursing and weapons. The doom is impending, and for all we know, these predictions may just come true, because tension between many countries is visible, and it is only a matter of time before they settle their disagreements through the blood of innocent people. Number 3. Prophecy about unusual floods and earthquakes Though earthquakes aren't new to us, we are still scared about their predictions, especially if they talk about a major one. Nostradamus wrote, An earthquake shall concern, its power shall be felt in lands throughout the globe. For some, this might be scary, while the rest may say that predicting an earthquake makes no sense because it isn't a once-in-a-lifetime activity. So how about we tell you what the U.S. Geological Survey has to say about seismic activity in the Cascadia subduction zone? Well, there were a series of medium tremors in 2016 and two fault lines in California, including San Andreas. According to the scientists, these are signs of a long overdue major earthquake of magnitude 8 or above. Was the prophet talking about this particular earthquake that may occur sometime in 2018? He even discussed the belt of fire of the Pacific, which will record an unusual activity. A series of earthquakes and eruptions of three volcanoes will occur in China that will cause thousands of deaths. Since the frequency of natural disasters have increased in the past few years, it won't be completely wrong to say that this prediction may just come true. Number 2. Prophecy about a major eruption of Mount Vesuvius How about we say that this man predicted eruption of a particular volcano in 2018? That might be just too much to believe in. 
Well, the prophet talked about a big Italian volcano that would erupt in 2018 and shake the earth every five minutes. According to the prophecy, this eruption would kill at least 6,000 people. That's too many. But the most interesting thing is that per the Italian geologists and volcanologists, Mount Vesuvius is more than an active volcano, and a big eruption is expected at the end of 2018 or the start of 2019. This expected eruption will be the worst of this volcano and will impose more danger on the surrounding people than it has during the previous eruptions. In 2016, more than 1.5 million people were warned that they were living in the danger zone of the supervolcano, which it was said could go off any time, causing a global catastrophe. Do we see a connection over here? Number 1. Prophecy about economic collapse What do you think Nostradamus meant when he predicted that the rich people will die many times? One of the interpretations to this could hint at an economic collapse that isn't far away. Going by what's happening today, the UK is expected to leave the European Union in March of 2019, and if that happens, it will affect the trade within the Union. What else? The US and China trade war isn't going to help the economy either. Things will only worsen because of Trump's tax reform. People are going crazy. Now, if we go back to the prophet's statement, did he mean that the collapse will be due to resentment in the poor against the rich? Since Trump has withdrawn the free health insurance for the poor, it has started a wave of anger in the underprivileged. So, who knows what revolt people start? Together, all these factors may push the world towards an economic meltdown, proving the prophecy to be correct. Which of these Nostradamus predictions disturbed you the most? Tell us in the comment section below. Subscribe to our channel if you like this video. And while you're here, check out our other videos and tell us what you think of them. You can also find us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Thanks for watching.